Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of El Dorado. Um, this is by Case IH and Connect Modding. It is 440.01 megabytes to download and it is available for all platforms. A very cool South Brazilian kind of style map, or Brazilian style map at least for that matter. Uh, but as always, I'm going to go ahead and start off by reading the description, then we'll go ahead and get into it. It says, the El Dorado map is a Brazilian map based on the city of Peridopolis, Sao Paulo. Uh, the name comes from one of the names of the farm that gave rise to the city of Peridopolis. Uh, become a successful new farmer growing from just an employee to a large, renowned farmer in the region. Be part of the history of Peridopolis. I'm probably saying that wrong, so I apologize. Uh, this map has 105 purchasable lands and 67 small to large fields, all of which measure missions, or feature missions, not measure them, good lord. Uh, work with coffee farming and sell your production or process it to obtain roasted coffee. At the shop, you can make your purchases and repair your vehicles and implements if if necessary. If the cost of inspection at shop is too heavy for your budget, you can send it to the mechanic workshop located in front of the gas station. Um, your grain production in general, also including your potatoes and beets, can be sold in the two warehouses present on the map, where Warehouses 2 gives you the possibility of unloading your grains on the train. It also possible to store your grains in its warehouses. Rent the train at three different points so you can sell your products in other cities available at the plant, Warehouse 2, and at the sawmill. Sugarcane is only sold at the plant. In this place, you can buy fertilizer from uh, the Vanassi produced in this place and produce ethanol to sell at the gas station. Bales in general, cotton and wool, are accepted at the cotton gin. It is impossible or it is possible to sell various products in the city market. At the sawmill, it is possible to sell wood and also produce boards. If you want to sell the milk from your cows or produce dairy products, dairy is the place you are looking for. In need of limestone? Do you also need to get rid of the stones that you remove from your crops? Simple. Go to the limestone company. Are you in urgent need of fuel? Run to the Posto, located in the industrial area of Pradopolis. In your new home, you have at your disposal a house to sleep in and a shed to store your few machines. There is no snow on this map as the winter in this region is only cold and dry. The animal trader and the store close their doors at the end of the day. Stay tuned. Have a good time. All right. That is fantastic. So, um... I know a lot of you guys have probably seen DJ did an early kind of look at this video, which is really well done. So make sure you guys check him out. Does fantastic work. Uh, but here we are, new farmer mode. Let's hop into the main menu here. We're just going to zoom out a little bit. So we are just right over here in a new farmer mode. You just own this little plot of land that has just a couple trees on it and our house. That's it. You have to figure your life out from there. That's a new farm mode. I believe the other modes are very similar to that, uh, if not worse off for you. But you can buy pretty much everything on the map, which is very cool. So wherever you'd like to build or do something, you can buy it. Um, and there's this huge sugar plant here in the middle. So if you take a look around down here, we have a supermarket cell point, vehicle shop, gas station, or right over there, the gas station to buy fuel and the gas station cell point where you can sell your produced ethanol there. Down here, we have one of the train cell points, Recanto de Alvarado. Uh, then over here, we have the animal dealer. Up this way a little bit, we have a rent train point, the grain west silo, um, and the grain warehouse one. Uh, we also have a rent train point here and the materia cell point. We have the dairy production, and then here we have the big sugar cane plant here production, as well as a rent train point. And then there's a slurry buy point right there, it looks like. Um, there's the other end of the train cell point there, which the train actually has quite the unique route. It kind of does some loops and things like that, which kind of takes it through this, but uh, very cool. Over here, we have Grain Warehouse 2, which is great. Uh, so, yes. Um, and I thought they had said that the uh, the train point in the description was at Grain Warehouse or Grain Warehouse. What did they say? Grain Warehouse 1? I thought they said Grain Warehouse 2, but it looks like it's at Grain House, Warehouse 1. But regardless of that, we know it's over here. No big deal there. So, if we go down through here. Um, very custom crop calendar in here as well as you can see. So wheat is a little bit different as well. Um, and actually just the entire layout is this is just different. So um, it's interesting because they have the seasons still accurately at the top here. But as you can see in this part of the world, spring and summer run September to February, which is very cool that they've done that. So looking in here, not all of it actually may not be that different, but it just looks different. And a couple things to note here, you can't plant barley, canola, or oats, um, or sunflowers, that matters. Another one that's empty there. Uh, if we scroll down here to the very bottom, you can see we have black beans added and coffee beans. I'll talk a little bit about those. Um, down here, the weather section here is going to be pretty standard. Um, through here, we can scroll down to kind of some new products and things we have. So we have coffee beans, black beans, ethanol, then we have sugar down here at the bottom, which I'm kind of interested as to why that sugar's down there. Did they just move it down there to the bottom? Looks like it did. Okay, I just want to make sure there wasn't two, but I don't see it. Oh, no, I do see it up there higher. 
So I'm not sure if that sugar is uh, different or not, um, or how that's going to work out. Then we have roasted coffee at the bottom as well. Uh, we only have our pickup truck, which has 65,000 months on it, 270.9 hours. So good luck getting any money for that. Uh, we do start with $100,000 in new farm remote, no starting loan, no animal pens, obviously. There are contracts in the fields that we do not own. No production chains, obviously, either, and no collectibles on this map. So uh, here we are. If we hop out of the menu here, we have just this one pickup truck. I'm not even going to hop in the store to show you guys what you have because we've seen it all already. Uh, we have our laundry all out there. Uh, we have our wardrobe trigger there and our house trigger right there. Now, behind our house, there's like a little bit of space back here. So I'm going to kind of check that out. So looks like we... I'm not sure how we get stuff back here. Well, I guess maybe over that way. Yeah, this space back this way is all kind of ours so we could park some stuff probably do a little landscaping in here you could get it in right through here so uh because this this space through here is ours so we could park some stuff there if we needed to or if we just have a tractor or two you probably could park it in your yard right here which is no big deal but we are going to hop in the truck and do a little bit of driving around the map take a look at a few things then we'll end it with a flyover but so far pretty cool kind of uh setup for a map i really like that um okay so down here in the town area we hop into the menu. We don't have very much to see. So we're just going to go forward past the supermarket and take a look at the vehicle shop. Head out this way. I love that little bus station there. That looks fantastic. A lot of good detail here. Um, the supermarket cell points right there on the right-hand side. And then the store is just up over here. I probably shouldn't have driven across the median like that, but everything's fine. And we have a very nice uh, Case IH shop here. That looks really well detailed and really well done. Nice big old shop there. So I like that. Um, and a nice highway system as well to kind of get you where you need to go. Uh, where we're going to go from here, I think, is we're just going to kind of cheat a little bit, cut just across here so we can go take a look at the gas station cell point and the gas station since they're right down over there. I mean, to be honest, I guess we didn't really have to cut through the median here, but at least it's easy to cut through. And I'm probably going to just drive on the wrong side of the road because it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. But here we are. We have the gas station and then... Uh, the gas station cell point there. And across the way, we have a mechanic, which isn't marked on the map. Uh, but if you remember in the description, um, you might be able to repair your vehicles for a little bit cheaper there. So um, you have that there for you if you'd like to go there, which is fantastic. Um, and now looking at the main map, we are going to get out on the highway. I'll try to get on the, well, actually, I guess the roads merge right over here. So that should be pretty easy to stay on my side of the road. Well, as easy as it can be for me. Um, okay, so... Up here on the right, though, we do have a production chain just up this way. So I think we're going to take a little detour off the highway. I love the dirt on that. That just looks so nice with the transition between the two areas. That's absolutely fantastic. So we'll get that opened up for us. And then what we have over here is we have the Grain Warehouse 2 cell point. So I'm not sure if there's another entrance or not on here. I'm assuming there's probably an entrance uh, from the north, but uh, I'm not. I'm not sure on that one. If you're going to do sugarcane, though, this is the map for that. This is a very good map for sugarcane. Though, I don't know. Is this... What are we driving over now? That is sugarcane. Is that a ready to harvest? No, okay. It's growing. I'll say it looks looks very low here. But, yeah. It looked. It did kind of look similar, though, than to the ready to harvest state. Just a little bit short. All right. Then over here we have Grain Warehouse 2. Yes. Right? 2. Yes. Grain Warehouse 2 here. And that does look like you have a road up that way. Um, so top end of the map, I'm not sure if, now just to be sure we're not missing anything, what I am going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and make it sure that we own all the land, um, because, you know, I just want to make sure there was no trigger points or anything we're missing, but it looks like buying the land hasn't changed anything, so that's good. So everything's going to be pretty standard. Now from right here, what we are going to do, I think, is, uh, I kind of want to drive through the sugar plant here, so I think we're going to head out north this way, head around, and then get into the sugar plant, drive through this this section here, maybe take a look at that slurry point, uh, head out this way, and then we'll kind of loop down and then head and take a look at these two areas here. And then I think we'll hit the rest with the flyover. And we'll kind of want to follow the train for a little bit, I think, too, just to kind of see how that that goes. Because it is a unique train track, or at least uh, we'll track it a little bit to see kind of where it goes and everything like that. We'll head out the north end here. Beautiful map, though. A lot of really good detail on this. I think I'm driving over black beans, if I'm not mistaken, right now. Nope, I'm not. Not even close. Wait, maybe. Yep, nope, not even close. Everything's fine. Uh, do we have any coffee that's growing currently on the map? 
I don't see any. We do have some black beans, though, so we can take a look at those. Uh, we'll, we'll try to take a look at the coffee as well, too. And actually, while we're, while we're just on the subject, let's hop in the store here. Uh, so typically, when there's new crops like that, they're harvested one way or another. It looks like these guys are going to work. Your standard harvester is going to be for your black beans, and it looks like you're going to use a standard grain header. Um, now, in terms of the coffee... Let's see if there's a special, there's no, so this one holds your uh, sugarcane ethanol in it. There's a special trailer there uh, modded to the map. Now, in terms of uh, harvesting your coffee, I don't know if it's going to be like a, let's check in here under orchards. Yep. Okay. There we go. Coffee tree. So it's going to work like an orchard, which is pretty cool. Um, now, the other thing though, we need to check um, is, is there a coffee harvester of some kind? I'm assuming there has to be. I'm not sure how you harvest that. There is not one currently. DJ's giving me the thumbs down. Is it an added mod? You're going to need to download the Jackto mods from Jackto and Connect Modding. Those are going to be the ones to use. It is just like their other map that they released uh, about two years ago. I remember that one. Yep. So those are the ones you're going to want to need. Okay, perfect. We'll look at that. And they're not required, so if you don't want to, you don't have to. There you go. So if you want to do coffee, make sure you download that mod. I will go find that mod, and I'll put a link in the description for you guys to make your guys' life easier. So that'll be easy peasy. Thank you, DJ, for that. I was at a video. Yeah. <laughs> I've been hanging out at DJ's house for a week after we did PAX East, and we've been having a blast making videos and doing different things. So it's been great. Let's see if this gate opens for us automatically. First one did. Nope. Second one is not. They're not about to let us in. There we go. Okay. So in we go. Now we are entering the big sugar plant, which is super cool. This is definitely the largest sugar production in Farming Simulator 22, without a doubt. At least the largest sugar production building. I am super curious as to how much this is going to cost. So we're going to figure that out here in just a second and take a look at some of the production ratios there. Um, and also, is there any actually custom placeables in this? Let's take a look real quick. Like, yes, there's the coffee factory, which is where you're going to take your coffee and make it into roast coffee, in case you're wondering there. So, and there's also vehicles. Well, there's only one vehicle, actually, DJ. Yep, there's only one, though. What is it? It's a trailer. Ah. Tanker trailer. You showed it already? I did. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Let's find the, <laughs> this is great. Let's find where I can actually purchase this production point. There's the dump point there. Now, where can I purchase this? Maybe we own it now because we bought the land. Let's see, nope, we do not. We do not. I'm also assuming we're gonna need a little bit more money. So I'm just gonna add us in. $10 million should be plenty. But I don't know where the trigger is gonna be for this. It might actually be, if we look at the map, it might be, I have no idea, honestly. I would think it'd be somewhere over here. Maybe there's got to be like an office somewhere. Oh, I got an achievement. Look at that. Hard work pays off. Finally got it. No, it's just a new copy of the game that I'm using at DJ's house. Um, there's got to be a trigger somewhere to buy this. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So strange. I might put a little cut in here, and I'm going to go ahead and find that trigger, and then I will bring you guys back in after I do find it. All right, so thanks to DJ and I's efforts, we have finally located it. Here it is. We are way up over here, so it's not marked on the map. So, yes, that is the end point down there. But up here, I can come here and buy the sugar cane plant for $1.5 million, and now it will show up as a production for us. So we can make ethanol or sugar all from the sugar cane. So it's one to one, which is kind of interesting, actually. So I'm not sure how how much money we're going to make off of this. 920 is pretty good. Yeah, that's we are going to make a lot of money if you own this. Now, to be fair, to do the factory and to own the land is about five million dollars, but it's probably worth it um, if you if you have that money. You're going to make it back if you're doing sugarcane for sure. So make sugarcane worth your while and buy this uh, this production plant for sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll head out now. There's also a train load point. Um, or train rental point here. We can should be able to load in and out the stuff on the train into this production and everything like that. Oh, I hit a building. That goes as par for the course right there. Let's try to get out this way. Oh, still can't do it. Tried. Still can't do it. There we go. Okay. 
So we'll head out this way. Uh, we'll, I think, hit everything up here at the flyover. We're going to come out this way and then take a left. Well, actually, we'll, we'll head straight and take a look at the dairy point. Oop, don't need to go across that. We have a really cool map. Really unique map, too. But if we go across this kind of uh, elongated roundabout here, we have the dairy point right over here for us. And we can just head straight back out. Oop, I can cut that car off. I'm sure they love that. I don't know what highway I just took here, but we are we are going places. Um, okay, so I think what we'll do is we will, we should be able to access this area over here. Just take a look at that rail yard um, and that stuff up over there if we just kind of curve off the road here and figure our way over that way. So I think we can do that. Yeah, there's a little kind of exit here. There we go. So the rail yard and the grain silo number one cell point is just to the left of us. Um, we should be able to cross here. Yep, easy does it. And I'm thinking we can get across, yeah, right over here, perfect. So we can cross this road here, get up into this area, and then this area right here is gonna be your Mataria cell point, or Mataria, I'm not gonna try to say it again. I tried too many times. Um, okay. So, uh, you know what? There's only a couple other things down here. Let's go ahead and hop into flight mode. I really want to get aerial on this map and see kind of what we can see. So, uh, okay. Beautiful map. I love I love the layout of it, too, with the sugar cane being so predominant. But here's the grain silo there, the, or the railroad silo, silo west there. Um, but if you look at the train itself, the train comes down this way. And then it crosses over here, so it makes a loop. It loops into the factory. It goes around the factory, loops back out, following that, and then comes back in here, crosses back over, and then heads south this way, and then off the map. So it has a really cool loop, which is absolutely incredible. I love that. I've never seen a train quite do something like that in Farming Simulator. And then right over here, we have the Lime Station, and then we have the Bales Cell Point right there, which is the Cotton Gin. And then over here, we have the animal dealer, so you can purchase your animals there. And then kind of across the bottom here, you can see we just have a lot of good fields going on, a lot of stuff happening down here, which is great. And over here, we have the workshop, or excuse me, we have the kind of little repair guy across the street from the gas station, gas station cell point there. And then up over here, we have kind of the main town where we have the main shop here in repair point. Then we have also the kind of the little transportation bus depot, which I think is super cool. A uh, little kind of community garden over there. There's the supermarket cell point. And then up over here, we also have uh, our little starting house and the little kind of chunk of land that we have behind it, which is pretty sweet. Kind of a unique start. Um, nice building there. Oh, a nice little kind of outdoor area here with some walkways and walking paths and stuff. That's kind of nifty. I like that. Huge water area here. As so we head up towards the northern part of the map, you can see in the grain silo cell point number two right there. Now, I'm not sure what this guy is. This might just be decorative. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that might just be decorative. Uh, if there's a reason for it, let me know down in the comments if you guys have figured it out. Um, over here, we got a few kind of uh, tankers and stuff like that. And the slurry buy points just right there. Um, you can see the train is making its loop out now. You can see so it's going to loop back out this way. And then it should just head down south on the map, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, plenty of fields up here. Plenty of stuff. Those ones, I shouldn't say are fields. Well, I mean, they are, but they're not on the map. Just be aware of that. And then, of course, we have the huge sugarcane production plant here, which is really cool. Really stinking cool. So I love that. That is fantastic. Very cool. And then we're back down to kind of where we started. But that is the map. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.